In this video, I'll show you how to create a login slash sign up pop-up form on your WordPress site. Let's get straight into it. For example, on my website here, I've got this login button and when a user clicks on it, it will open up this pop-up form in which they can either log in or register. If you wanted to disable this registration tab, then you can do so and we can customize the image and the color scheme as well to be in keeping with your particular brand identity. So if you want to create a similar setup on your WordPress website, let's get straight into it. So the first thing we need to do is navigate over to plugins and then add new. We'll go ahead and search for login pop up and we'll go ahead and install this particular plugin. All right. So now let's head over to the settings area. And it's up to you if you want to enable the registration tab. So I'm just going to leave everything as default for now. And here we can define a default user role when a user registered to our website. So we'll just set this as customer since I'm running a WooCommerce store on my WordPress website. Right, and here we've got some specific WooCommerce related settings since I've got the WooCommerce plugin activated. So again, I'm just going to leave it as default when a user signs in we can redirect them to a specific URL and it's the same for when they register as well and also when they log out. So if you want to redirect them to the shop page once they log in, then here we can just add the shop link here or we can just leave it empty and the user will remain on the same page. Again, it's the same for the registration page. Okay, so within our pop-up, we can enable the login form and the registration form. Okay, we can customize the text. And then we can just hit save changes once you're happy with all the changes. Okay, we can navigate over to style and we can customize the styling. Okay, and then finally we'll navigate over to this tab where it says how to use. And then we've got a few different ways in how we can use this. So I'm going to use a short code method. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this short code here. And then I'm going to open up my site editor. So I'm using a Gutenberg theme, which supports full site editing. In your case, if you're using Element or Divi or any other page builder, you can still follow along. So the concept's exactly the same. So I'm going to edit um, my website. So let's go editor and we'll go navigation. All right. And then I'll just add a short code widget and then I'll paste in my short code here. All right. So that looks fine. So we've added our short code widget here. And now I can just remove this existing login um, menu, which I created earlier. All right. So we've got our short code widget. So this will display the pop up form on the front end. All right. So let's hit save changes and let's go ahead and preview our website. Since I'm already logged in, it's prompting us to log out. So let's actually copy this URL and let's view it in a private browser. OK, so now we've got this login button. So when we click on it here, we've got this login form and we can also register as well. OK, so I've signed in fine. And since we specified that we didn't want it to redirect to a different page here, it's just keeping us on the same page so we can log out again. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.